Hey guys, this is Mainak and you are watching Civil Bro. So guys, in today's episode, we will find out how to determine the volume of a footing with haunch or a trapezoidal footing. So as you can see, this is a footing with haunch and if you want to see the picture of actual site, you can see this is the picture of a freshly casted footing uh, with haunch and basically this contains a portion, as you can see, this is a small d. So this is the bottom one is rectangular. So if you multiply by small d, we'll get the uh, portion of the cube, or it can be you know <coughs> rectangle as well or a square. Having the depth multiplied or the small d multiplied, you will get the volume of this portion. So this portion is pretty easy, and the top portion uh, it's almost like uh, a frustum. So this portion or the haunch portion you have to add. So how to do that we will see in today's video using one example from this footing layout so we'll take one particular footing here so let's say we'll take the footing f1 okay and first of all uh, i made excel sheet to do it so first of all we'll know the elements so this is a1 so a1 is basically the uh, area of this particular footing which is 2.2 into 2.2 so as you can see I multiplied 2.2 uh, whole square so it is 4.84 this is in meter square so this is F1 it's A1 and this is small d so small d is basically as we had seen in this particular uh, diagram this is basically this side so that we can get the volume so if we multiply this area by small d so we will get the volume of the cube portion so the cube portion is basically the multiplication by this highlight of these two. So I got the volume of the cube portion. Next thing is the A2. So what is the A2? A2 is the volume of the haunch portion. So now as you can see, when we keep the haunch, we usually keep some distance so that we can one uh, for one thing we can give the starter of the column as well as we can it is easier to match the haunch. So suppose if a column is of size 300 to 300, we will take a horn size of 500 into 500, that is 100 mm extra on each side so that we can give the shuttering materials properly and also make the column starter. So if we want to determine A2 here which is the uh, area of the you know, portion of the haunch that is the top portion, we have to know what is the column which has been used here. So in the foundation layout as you can see uh, when we just move over to F1 this side so it is the particular column here left to A on the second row so same thing we go in the column layout so the column which has been used here as you can see uh, left to A on the second row this has been used as C1 so now we have to find out what is the details of C1 so C1 size as you can see it is 415 to 450. So once we know the size of C1 which is 415 to 450. So what we'll do? We will calculate it by adding 100 on both sides. So 450 plus 200. 100 on both sides there is 200. So it is 650. So I have multiplied 0.65 into 0.65 which is the area of the haunch that is A2. And next comes the H. So what is the H? H is basically capital D minus small d. So as you can see in this particular uh, figure, to remind you, this is the capital D, the full you know height, and the small d is the height of the cube portion. So here in this particular details, we go back, and if we just see in the column details of this F1, as you can see, already we have calculated the cube portion 2.2 into 2.2. The capital D is 4 and the small d is uh, you know 0.4 and the small d is 0.2 so it will be 0.4 minus 0.2 which exactly which I have done here 0.4 minus the small d which comes as 0.2 so now comes the volume of the horn portion so what is the formula for the volume of the horn portion it's h by 3 as you can see it is h by 3 h is which we have calculated just now h by 3 multiplied into a1 plus a2 plus square root of a1 into a2 so this exactly I have done in this that is h by 3 into a1 
plus a2 plus square root of a1 a2 so like this it calculated the volume of the horns portion now if you want the total volume you add these two this a2 plus the volume of the horns portion sorry volume of the horns portion and the volume of the cube if we add these two portions you will get the total volume of the footing that is the volume of f1 along with the horns it's 1.41 so like this we can calculate the volume of the other footings so this is a practical example of how to calculate the area of a footing with punch